What's up everybody? Welcome to Shark Vlog. Tindo here, and today is Monday, which means that it is my favorite thrift store's sale day. Every Savers in town has 50% off everything in their stores. So we're going to go to a handful of them. I'm going to buy a bunch of video games as usual. Hannah's going too. She's probably going to buy some clothes. And uh, we'll come back and show you what we got afterwards. So check it out. All right. It's Monday, my favorite day of the week, because Monday means savers. So I jumped on Google real quick just to show you all the savers in town. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven savers here in Phoenix. And a lot of times on Monday we go to all of them. But uh, today went pretty well after the first half, so I think we called it quits about halfway through. And so this is the first Savers, the one closest to my house. It's the one that is easiest to get up and go to at opening. So that's what we did. We got there when the doors opened, rushed right in. And I went straight for the video games. But being as this is the one that's closest to my house, that also means it's the one I frequent the most. So I was immediately aware that these games were ones that I had seen before. It didn't look like they were able to put out a bunch of new games for today's half-off day. So, didn't leave with a ton of games like I usually do on a Monday here, but let's see if I can find something. I wasn't sure what this was. It had a funny label. Maybe a custom label, but it just didn't look like a normal Xbox label. Guitar Hero, Ben 10. Here's one I ended up buying, one I didn't have in my collection. Got it for a couple bucks. Let's see, more Halo, more football. This guy. This guy had been there for a while. I think this game was here on the last half off day and I didn't buy it. So since I'm not finding a ton of other stuff, I think I went ahead and bought it too. I was going to buy that one with no manual. And then the Shrek game. Funny enough, on the Shrek game, uh, I ended up buying it and just last night. I went to a local game store and it was there for like 30 or 40 bucks. So I was like, huh, I must have got a good deal. Here I am checking the CDs just to make sure there are no PlayStation games tucked in there. Because that's where I find most of my PlayStation games tucked in the CDs. Not finding anything. There's quite a few here today. They, they were able to pack these in for half off day. So no PlayStation games. I'm checking the electronics now. Um, I've bought a couple Xboxes here on Half Off Day. They just they don't really organize electronics too well at this Savers. They just kind of throw it all there on that shelf. But I'm not seeing too much. This is all the sports and athletic gear. You still got to check. Sometimes there's random electronics. Like if you just caught that there, there was a couple Wii boards down there on the bottom. I mean, that is exercise gear, so I guess that makes sense. Over to the toys. They bag up all their toys. They hardly sell anything individual. Like our Goodwills here in town, all these little toys would be in bins, and you could put them in a bag, five for a dollar. I kind of wish they did this here, because there's always stuff like that Luigi I would have liked to have had, but I'm not paying for that whole bag just to get him. Uh, funny enough, I saw a lot of those little individual Mario-related toys today in bags that I didn't buy. But it's always good to check. You never know when a odd Skylander might be in there. Here are the bags. I'm just checking for Game Boy or Nintendo or other gaming related bags to add to my collection. Uh, this is where I find most of them. I think most of my Game Boy bags have come from those bag racks that look just like that at Savers. Here is a section of DVDs they keep up at the front of the store. Not really sure why they do this. They're not really different from the other DVDs. But I guess just... Uh, Another little gotcha to get you to buy something else on the way out. But I always check this section just to make sure there's no games in there. There are sometimes, but it's not looking like there are any this time. Like, of course. Just hit my phone in the face. <laughs> so many dresses. As you can see, Hannah already has a few things draped over her shoulder. I've mentioned this a lot in my past videos, but if you're new to the channel, uh, just know that we make a living and I pay for most of this bad thrifting habit that I have by reselling vintage clothing. So there are links below to our vintage shop, so check those out if you're into that kind of thing. And then here is another bad habit I have. 
bandanas. <laughs> if you've watched many of my videos at all, you know that I've usually got a bandana on my head. Force of habit. What all did you get? Got some boots, got some jeans, and then some video games and bandandies. Bandandies. She's so dumb. Here's the next savers. As you saw in the map earlier, these savers are really, really well spaced apart. So it takes a little bit to get to each one. They're about 20 minute drive apart. Here's a basket full of Game Boy games, which I was happy to see. This savers usually has a good selection of games and I hadn't bought any here in the last couple half off Mondays. Here's a stack of Xbox games, though uh, I own what 30 or so consoles. I don't have an Xbox one. I just have never bought one. So those are useless to me. There's a PlayStation tucked away. Uh, I think I could kind of make out the price, and it was like 25 bucks. So I passed on it too much. And then the games. There was a nice, fresh selection of games here. A lot of sports titles, though, which is what usually happens. Greatest Hits baseball game. I'm trying to get to a complete set of the greatest hits on PlayStation 2 as fast as possible, so I even pick up the sports titles that are PlayStation 2 if they're greatest hits at Savers. Usually only a dollar or two. Not finding a ton, though. There's some more greatest hits. I think that one I could feel the book wasn't in there, so I just passed it up. Then there was this stack of other PlayStation 2 games just in jewel cases. Uh, I had to check those real quick. I got a little excited because the last couple times I've found additions to my PlayStation Magazine demo disc collection. They've been in cases like this. I don't know why, but so I just kind of hope maybe these were those magazine discs. They were not. They were just other games. Been checking some of the cables here. This particular cable section is usually a lot more plentiful than it was this day. Uh, so... I usually dig through there, and I'm usually lucky enough to find a GameCube power cable or a N64 power cable, but nothing today. Here's a cart they rolled out of fresh stuff, uh, but there's nothing on it that piqued my interest. And that's the cool thing about shopping at Savers on Half Off Monday. It's easy to go to all of the Savers all across town because they all constantly restock on Monday to keep it fresh. So you don't have to worry about uh, the store running out of stuff or you know all the stu good stuff being gone. That's kind of what happens at Goodwills on their half-off day. Van Dandies. You can go to a few, but by the time you get to the fourth or fifth one, all the good stuff is gone because they don't restock. So, case in point, I bought a GameCube once at this Savers when coming to it last during the day. I, was, I couldn't believe it at the time. How is there still a GameCube here? But it was there because they'd been restocking all day, and I just happened to walk in when a young gentleman was placing it on the shelf. So walking around the rest of the store here, the toys are tucked way in the back. And this one, as you can see, has a ton. So I am, I am always sure to check those. It's a bag full of Mario's. It's like three of the same Mario, though. A little Adventure Time. Uh, nothing special enough to warrant the price. And then a bag of Skylanders. And so it's marked 10 bucks. They clearly know what Skylanders are at Savers. Uh, being a half off day, this is a $5 bag of Skylanders, and I struggled really hard with this one. I think I put it back and picked it up a couple of times because basically uh, when I did the math, there was like f there was four or five in there total, and I think I only already had one of them, so it was a little bit more than a dollar a piece, which is exactly what I paid for them at the gaming store so it ended up being worth it I ended up getting it here's a Goodwill that is right next door to that Savers we don't always go to Goodwill's on half off Savers Day but this one is literally two buildings over it's in walking distance so you can park in between them and walk over to the Goodwill and this Goodwill chose on this day to put all of their games in the lockbox which just randomly happens. I, I'm sure they find a few discs stolen once or twice and put them in the box and then they get tired of putting them in the box. It's just a constant cycle. So I had one of the workers let me look at all these games. It not being half off and me having already bought a huge handful of games on this day for pennies. I wasn't about to pay full price for them there. 
Finding GameCube games is always nice. But I think these were priced quite high. But I'm just making sure there's nothing that I can't live without. All sports games. This is the same Goodwill, but just the regular shelves. And there were games, I guess, they couldn't fit them all in the lockbox. So, again, I'm just making sure. You never know when one of these blockbuster cases is going to have a copy of Mario Sunshine in it. Sean White. No thanks. Destiny for PS3. Thought about buying that, but again, price tag too high. Not seeing anything I can't live without. The random Super Nintendo game. Sports title. Price too high. This is one of the things I ended up leaving with. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. At first, I thought it was just a book. Just a little manual showing some of the maps, but you open it up. <laughs> There's a PC copy of San Andreas right there. Here's a little bootleg. Uh, I think these are actually NES clones. They have a little chip and emulator in them for the NES, but you play the NES games with the N64 setup. I might be wrong about that, but I think the one that I have, that's what it is. Super weird. I love my cheap Chinese clones. A little drawing pad for Xbox. I've already got one in box, I think. Some more in-box peripherals for the Wii. I always think about buying those because uh, I have a rather large and growing Wii collection, but I don't buy them unless they're super cheap because I'm clearly not buying Wii stuff to do workout aerobics. And then check the cables. Just trying to find that elusive GameCube cable. Nothing there. Yeah. Bay Warriors? It's a Beyblade? That's dope. How much is it? It's three bucks. If there is one singular reason why you should subscribe to my channel, it's because of the upcoming Beyblade video that I'm working on. So hit that subscribe button now. I buy everything Beyblade that I come across at the thrift stores. So here's the next savers. This one is pretty far from my house. It is in the northernmost part of Phoenix. So I went in and went straight to the video games. I got bamboozled last time I was at this Savers because there's a stack of what turned out to be PC games in red boxes with Sega logo on them. And I was certain that they were Sega Genesis games. But I opened them up and they were actually uh, PC games that just were put in very Sega Genesis-like boxes. Bamboozled. Because I love in-box Sega games. Flipping through here, nothing I haven't seen already today. Uh, some DVDs mixed in there. What's in the Blockbuster box? Fallout, not much. Checking the CDs. These are all mostly actually PC games. A little Jeopardy in there. The Jeopardy one is pretty funny because I just bought a PlayStation 1 Jeopardy game a couple days before. Here is a PlayStation bowling game. Put that under my arm. I'm going to take that with me. Just admiring Alex Trebek and his beautiful mustache there. Man, that mustache is lovely. Just checking the rest of these here for more PlayStation games. You cannot look hard enough. You gotta triple check these things because you just, you look through all of them, nothing, you'll check them again, and then there's a PlayStation game you missed. They're usually pretty easy to spot because PlayStation's right there on that, sp that uh, spine, but nothing today. Checking the toys. I'm trying to find another bag of Skylanders. That's all I want, more Skylanders. All the plushies, baby toys, onto the regular toys. Quite a bit here today. And then here's the lockbox, and this is funny. These games right here have been in their lockboxes for months, not marked down. I mean, I don't need any of them, so it doesn't matter, but the exact same games. I laugh every time I go, and they're still there. I think it's because people don't know where they are. People don't go over there looking for games. I've just learned the lesson the hard way that that's where you got to go to check for the good stuff. 
bunch of Pokemon tins here. If any of them are of a certain collection, they're really good for trading value at one of the local video game stores, so I always check them, but these are all pretty new and pretty unwanted. All right, time to get out of here, time to get to the next one. This Savers also has a Goodwill really close to it, so that's where we're gonna go next. Look at this thing. Pool table. Air hockey. And coffee table. <laughs> How much is it? Ooh, so today, 75 bucks today. Ooh, tempting. You know, we've come to Savers a lot on their half off day or Mondays. And usually it's a lot busier than this. I don't know. It's just summer and everyone's taking a break. I don't know what's going on. There's not a lot of people here. Usually you can't even walk in this place. This is absolutely the nicest Goodwill in all of Phoenix. It's just, it's in the richest part of town. Can I take a look at these video games? So go check the games in the lockbox first. And there's not a ton in there. And then this I was really excited about when I saw it. I loved Zoids growing up. My little brother did too. And I would love to have a good Zoids figure on my toy shelf. But that one was missing all of its pieces. And what's the first thing I find in the electronics? A stack of consoles. And I was really excited. Uh, this Xbox actually looked like a good deal. And so did this Wii, really. Especially it being a not-white Wii that also has GameCube compatibility. So I was really excited about that, but $12.99, not half off. That's still a good price for a 360 Slim. But then I popped open the hard drive cover, and lo and behold, there's no hard drive in there. Boo. That happens. I don't know if I've ever found one with the hard drive in there. My, I have two Slims right now. One of them is complete in box, barely touched, but still, no hard drive in it. Well, I bought aftermarket hard drives to put in there just to make sure it works and stuff, but I keep it in the box. Then there's not a lot of games here. Pretty let down by that. This is usually a good one to get a handful of good games, uh, but there's just some goofy stuff here. Nothing great at all. Check the DVDs, make sure there's nothing tucked in there. And then on to the next Savers. This is quite a bit of ways down the road. We're heading towards the west end of town now. And I went over to the lockbox first, and there was a guy over here buying a lot of stuff. He might have got away with some good stuff I would have bought, but I think he mostly bought a handful of DS games. So I had to look through all this stuff. There were some good games in there. It had been a little while since I'd stopped at this Savers. I think we skipped it the last two half off days and uh, it's good it's good to skip them a couple weeks sometimes and let them really refresh sometimes they take a while to catch up you ought to see these places sometimes at the end of the day at the end of a sale day these places will just be trash stuff on the floor it'll take them <laughs> a week sometimes to both clean up and restock checking the toys again Again, if you look closely, there's a handful of Mario characters. Look, see a Bowser? I just kept seeing them today. Not seeing a ton of other stuff that's cut catching my eye. And also, I really don't buy these unless the prices are really cheap. I mean, just super cheap. If it's, if it's $2, I can get it for a dollar. Another Mario. Man, I wish these were grab bags. Look at that. I don't even re remember seeing that. Rabbids. And another bag of Skylanders. And after already struggling with that first bag, I really struggled with this one too. I didn't end up buying it because there were too many in there I already had and that kind of put the price per one I didn't have well above what I'd normally pay anyways. But uh, it's nice seeing these Skylanders out. I love it when a set of gaming peripherals are at the end of its life cycle and I can get them really cheap at thrift stores and that's exactly where Skylanders is. So if you're watching this and you at all like Skylanders, go to your thrift store now because that's where they are check the shelves real quick I don't find much on these shelves anymore I used to when I was really into collecting lightsabers but I got to where I had all the lightsabers and just became ridiculous so I don't look for them anymore I ended up leaving there with a Wii U game which I'm always happy to do I'm trying to get that full collection 
before it's too late and they become valuable. Uh, Desert Industries. This one was in between that Savers and the next one. And so we went to it. I think we ended up stopping after this one. We bought I bought a big handful of games here. And I was like, let's just call it quits. And uh, Deserts are great. If you have access to these. I don't know if they're anywhere outside of Phoenix. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're in other Mormon-centric towns. So if you have any in your town, definitely go to them. Especially if you're into video games. They always have a huge, great selection. I've bought so many game cubes at this desert. And this is my favorite of the three deserts in Phoenix. So if I'm anywhere near it, I stop. I got a little excited here on this Xbox game because that specific game, I believe, is the one that's super rare on the GameCube. But it is absolutely worthless on every other console. Ooh, Scooby-Doo. I was very excited. This was complete in box. The case was really dirty. I ended up chucking that case and putting it in a replacement case I have at home. Look how excited I am. I'm flipping through here quick because I just never know what I'm going to find at Desert. A lot of PlayStation 2 here today, which is good. I've been buying PlayStation 2 the most, I believe, lately. A little DS game. You've always got to check through these electronics on the bottom shelf. They just toss that stuff in there, and you never know when a GameCube controller or something nice is going to be tucked in there. And these deserts always have a hundred Wii boards. Checking the books. I find a lot of gaming manuals here, so I never fail to check the books here. And there's their lock boxes. They were on the left. There's never much gaming stuff in there. And this store, another desert in town, they always put their games in the lock box. So, still all right to check. You never know when they're going to toss something gaming related in there, just on a random whim. I'm not seeing a whole lot in the books. Keep moving here. Here's the back room. I don't find a lot in there. But I always check anyways, because once again, you never know when something you want is just going to be tossed on the shelf. Hannah ended up buying a couple of belts. Those will be up on our vintage pages. Links below. She likes quirky little things like that. That gold one was pretty cool, though. And I ended up buying two or three games. Very happy with those. I love finding complete inbox PlayStation 2 stuff, because it's just it's one of the easiest for me right now, but it also... As far as I can tell, it's going to be the next one to just skyrocket. It's coming around to uh, growing in popularity again. You know, it's just going to be on the up end of its cycle. And then we stopped at the Goodwill bins on the way home. If you don't know what those are, I've made plenty of videos uh, related to the bins on my channel. So go check that out. It's a place where they wheel stuff out in these giant bins, hence the name. And you pay for it by weight. And here's another reason to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I buy every one of these Hot Wheel tracks that I come past because I'm making a huge Hot Wheel video. I'm going to work on it here as soon as winter gets here and it cools down in Phoenix. We've got a huge outdoor Hot Wheel track video we're going to do. So once again, you got to subscribe just for that because when I post it, you're definitely going to want to watch that. So I dug through all these bags and here's the tracks I came away with uh, I don't have any of those big green ones yet so that's kind of cool never seen those before but I have I've bought every single one of these tracks I've come across in a thrift store for several several months now just getting ready for this video we got shirt two pairs of jeans and a pair of shorts and <laughs> race tracks all right everybody we are back from a long day of thrifting I'm pretty beat we were gone for most of the day, but I came home with a big box of stuff, which is awesome. So I'm gonna start with the couple weirdest things that I got today. The first one is this weird Beyblade. It's called a Bay Warrior. I don't even know if you can shoot it like a normal Beyblade, but both this Beyblade and this box of Hot Wheel tracks, both of these things are for a future video, a series of future videos actually that uh, I'm not going to tell you too much about right now, but I'll promise you this. They are more than enough reason for you to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and come back a little bit later and find out why I bought those. I have about a thousand of those tracks as of right now 
for a really cool future video. And I probably have about 20, 30 Beyblades, but more on that later. The next thing that I got, I picked up this Wii stand. The Wii goes right here. You put your games in here, put your controllers here. I actually have a whole collection of these. Different shapes, sizes, colors. Those are pretty cool. And next, this is also pretty weird, but these are empty boxes. They uh, let you take these for free at the special Goodwill if you want to take them for whatever reason. And so of course, I have all the stuff that goes inside this Disney Infinity uh, box. I have all the figures as well as the game. And this is actually the tray to a Wii box. And I buy these in pieces and put whole ones together. I actually have about five, maybe I'm on number six completed Wii in box. I'm stacking those up for later because I'm just hoping that one of these days, these Wii's that I paid $6 for complete in box become a little bit valuable and maybe they'll be good trade-in credit one day. A guy can dream. Maybe that's just hoarding tendencies starting to come out. Uh, I don't know, but I've got like six or seven inbox Wii's. Next, a bag of Skylanders. And I really hesitated to buy this bag because there was a couple of them in there that I already have. And the bag was $5. People at the thrift store, I guess, knew what they were. But there were some cool ones like this little guy that I, I don't have. And basically, I added it up and just counted the ones in there that I didn't have. Uh, and it basically came out to a dollar a piece. And that's what I pay for them at the store anyways. So I was happy to buy those. This <laughs> She's got skates, but instead of skates, they're saw blades. Super into that. Uh, and then the last one in here that I didn't have is this little guy. What is that? It's Pac-Man with rockets, I guess. I don't know. I don't know a lot about Skylanders, but also I know I'm just talking about future videos here, but a future video coming on Skylanders. I have about 120 of those so far and uh, putting together a pretty cool video about them. Next, I got... <laughs> Look, they even wrote my name on the bag. These were in the lockbox at a Savers. And so when you buy stuff out of the lockbox, they put it in a bag, write your name on it, and you go get it at the counter. They don't want you taking it to the back of the store and stealing it. So this is a copy of Top Gun for the GameCube, which was only a dollar because it was half off. It's marked $2. And I only bought this because I have the case and manual without the disc. So now I have that complete inbox, pretty cool. And then I got a Game Boy game, Speedy Gonzalez Aztec Adventure, and I paid two bucks for that. I will pretty much never not spend $2 on a Game Boy game trying to pad that collection. Next, as always, a stack of games. It's about the normal size. You know, I feel like the last one of these videos I made, it was about this exact many games. So first game, PlayStation 1, Bowling. What a generic title. Not so-and-so's bowling adventure. No, just bowling. Uh, next... This is probably one of my favorite things I found today. It is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas City Guide. So it's got a bunch of maps and stuff in here and stats and facts, and that's all pretty cool. But the most surprising part is that there's actually a PC edition of San Andreas in there. It says Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Second Edition. I'm not exactly sure what that means, if just they made a version later uh, with better graphics or something. I'll have to look that up, second edition. If you know what that means, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to know. All right, next, these three games I picked up at the Clearance Center at my last stop at the what I like to refer to as the Special Goodwill. Um, and it's just American Idol, Karaoke, uh, Revolution. I was gonna say Dance Dance. Karaoke, Revolution, and then Xbox 360 Connect, UFC Trainer. And then PlayStation 3 Resistance 2, I was pretty happy to find this. It's all in there. Um, and I paid $2.50 for that one. That looks like fun. Floating island warships over top of the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm into it. I know nothing about this game. If it's good or bad, let me know in the comments below. Another Kinect game, all there. It's motion sports. And this looked untouched. Looked like it hadn't been played at all. Paid three bucks for that one. Mass Effect. Another game I've never played, but I, you know, I have a familiarity with it just because it was relatively popular, so I might put this in soon and play it. And then probably the 100th Shrek game that I have bought recently. There's so many Shrek games. This is Shrek Super Party for the original Xbox. It's all there. 
Bin 10 on the PlayStation 2, also all there. And the disc is in okay condition. Really just needs to be cleaned. Dope. Xbox 360 Dead Island. I don't know much about this game either. It looks like a zombie game, I'm hoping. If I'm totally wrong, let me know in the comments below, but it's all there. And I paid two bucks for that one. Was pretty happy about this. Uh, Wii U Dimensions. I have a very small collection of Dimensions. I haven't been going after them. Uh, but, like, I have a, a Doctor Who TARDIS Dimensions figure, and I think the Batman one. So, I actually bought the, what do you call it, the scanner, the gate, well, it's the gate in Skylanders. But I have the scanner for this, too, that I just picked up, so I can actually play this now. Scooby-Doo Unmasked for the PlayStation 2. This one is all there. The discs look good. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it is dirty on the back with a... Uh, mystery brown substance. Have to wash that off or probably just toss the case and put it in a new one. Transformers, the game. PlayStation 2, it's all there. <laughs> Last and definitely least. PlayStation 2, greatest hits. MVP Baseball 2005. Um, I think, I, yeah, I just picked this up because it was only a dollar. It was all there. And like most sports games I come across, virtually untouched. So let's make sure that's it. Yep, that's it. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say find of the day for me was this little San Andreas book. I'm actually kind of excited to lay down in bed tonight and read through it and see what information is in here. Dang, it's even got stuff about the settings in the game, like suggested settings. It's pretty cool. Ooh, with the map. This is cool. Anyways, guys, that's it. It's another thrift haul. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing was that I got today. And maybe even let me know in the comments if you spotted something in the footage that I missed because that happens. And uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that you can get notifications next time I post a video and you can come back and hang out with me then. And until then, peace out. Hey, I'm a shark with a top hat. And I think you should subscribe. Go ahead. Hit the button. I'll wait. <laughs>